Good morning, welcome back to BT. It is a tribute to Winnipeg's trolley past, and it is now the opportunity for you to show off our city in one of the nicest ways possible. We got Ben Gillis joining us with the Winnipeg Trolley Company. Talk a little bit about what you guys have here. Uh, let's go through it if we can. First off, the history. We used to have lots of trolleys. Yeah, definitely. We used to have streetcars. So from 1891 to 1955, we actually had streetcars running throughout the city. Um, at its peak, there were about 350 streetcars uh, running throughout Winnipeg. Um, of course, that was the major way you got around yep. in the early part of the 1900s. And now you guys aren't confined to the tracks, so you can take them all over the place. Uh, let's talk about logistics. Uh, where do we take off from? Where do we go in the trolley? For sure. Well, uh, our tourist trolley is designed for uh, tourists, obviously, but for locals as well. Yeah. And so we offer a 90-minute sightseeing tour that runs on Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday, 10:30. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, fr Wednesday, Friday at 10:30, and then okay. Sunday, 10:30 and 1 o'clock. Okay. And uh, takes off right here from the Forks, actually. Yeah, you can catch it just right at the Forks main gates, and then we go. Uh, well, a nice little tour to some of the biggest spots. Take, take us through. Exactly. So we start off here at the Forks, and then we head over into St. Boniface. We're going through the downtown, talking about the Exchange District, talking about the Winnipeg General Strike, um, going down, seeing the Legislative Building, going all the way down Wild to Crescent, out to a Cinnamon Park, and then heading back up Grosvenor, Court, and Osborne to talk about uh, Winnipeg in the modern day. You're hitting a lot of the places that, uh, that a lot of times when we have friends and family coming to town, they want to see and we want to show off. Well, exactly. We wanted to show off our city in an exciting yeah. way, in an engaging way, in a really fun way. And a comfortable way, too. Let's slide inside if we can, because I want to talk about the fact, especially this time of the year. Oh, this is nice. It's uh, actually air-conditioned as well. Yes, it is. Which so, is a big deal. Yeah, we don't want to cook our passengers. We want them to be comfortable. <laughs> so it is nice and air-conditioned, but you can see lots of really big panoramic windows to uh, show off uh, all that makes Winnipeg special. And uh, so we take people around. It's not a stopping tour. We're not getting off and buying souvenirs. We're just learning as we go. Uh, but a big thing is that it's guided. So they're going to learn about the history of St. Boniface when they go through or how the park has grown when they hit us in a boy park. Yeah, exactly. So we've got a guide who's you know talking to you, interacting with the passengers to make it really engaging, really fun. Um, they're going to tell the best stories that Winnipeg has to offer. What do most people not know about our city when they get to zip around? Oh, that's a good question. There are a lot of stuff that they, that they find out. I think one of the most interesting stories is that um, the inspiration for James Bond was actually a guy who was born right here in Winnipeg. His name was Sir William Stevenson. Yeah. And he was really good friends with a man named Ian Fleming, who of course wrote the James Bond novels. Yep. And uh, he was a spy and he inspired the, the story of James Bond. He was really James Bond and he was really from exactly. here. And you get to you cru learn that as you cruise around and go through. For sure. You can also not only be a tourist, but you can actually charter the bus as well. Uh, mm -hmm. What do people usually charter it for? Oh, all sorts of different things. We've done weddings, uh, really popular. Uh, we've done conventions, we've done birthday parties, we've done graduations. I mean, it's, you know, seats 32 passengers. It's a fun way to travel, it's a unique way to travel. Um, so, you know, anything you can think of transportation, we can provide. If your party is bigger than the amount of seats that you need in here, then that's a heck of a party, no exactly. question about it. The odds are you can do most everything. So, uh, available right here at the Forks Market, we go Wednesday, Friday, Sunday? Yeah, Wednesday and Friday is at 10.30, Sunday is at 10.30 and 1 o'clock. All the details are on breakfasttelevision.ca as well as links to some amazing pictures of you guys making your way around the city. It is a beautiful, beautiful way to be a tourist in our own town. If you want to see that, hit breakfasttelevision.ca. Gonna take a break, let's go, why don't we go to the park? Sounds Can good. I drive? Yeah. Is that legal, sure. man? No. Cool.